Antes que no teníamos el internet, pues no estábamos enterados, se puede decir, de muchas cosas que, que todo lo, lo que podemos buscar ahí y no nos hacía tanta falta. Pero ahora que lo tenemos, uh, podemos investigar infinidades de cosas, pero también si llegara un momento en que no pudiéramos tenerlo, uh, ya sería como algo que nos haría demasiada falta. Pues yo tengo un esposo y tengo tres hijos. Mi hijo, el que va a seis grados, la mayoría de sus trabajos los tienen que entre entregar por medio de correos electrónicos. Entonces, si no hubiésemos tenido el internet, hubiera sido muy difícil para él hacer su trabajo. Hay 16 millones de americanos que no están conectados al internet en casa. Eso es el equivalente de la población de California y Texas put together. And this is really, really important because if you are not online, you cannot change the trajectory of your life outcomes. My name is Chike Agu and I'm the CEO of Everyone On. We're a national nonprofit dedicated to closing the digital divide for the 60 million Americans who are not connected to the internet at home. Since 2012, we've connected over 300,000 low-income individuals in 48 states across this country. And our goal is to connect over 1 million by the end of 2020. Prestamela. No. Please. If you ask families, the number one barrier to keeping them from getting online is actually cost. So we work with a lot of the large internet service providers to deploy offers that family can actually afford. What we've learned is that we cannot do this alone. We have our own regional managers on the ground in six locations across the country, and we have over 700 partner organizations in almost every state. And what they're doing is they're meeting families where they are. My name is Paulina Chavez. I am the regional manager here in Los Angeles for Everyone On. Here today, specifically, I'm signing up people for the AT&T Access Program, which qualifies anyone who has food stamps for high-speed internet at $10 a month. Bien? Gracias. It is crucial for us to really integrate into the communities that we're serving. Low-cost internet was a resource that the community had been asking for and most of our low-cost offers have some sort of low-income requirement. So then we began to explore options for collaboration. Digital inclusion starts with the internet, but it doesn't end there. We began to hear from the field, the internet is great, but we also need help actually getting families' devices. So we began to seek out older computers, retool them, and then basically put them back out on the market. Ah, pues esta es la, la primera vez que nosotros hemos tenido internet en la casa. Ah, ¿Cómo te ha ayudado el internet en la escuela? Bien, me ayuda a hacer mis tareas. Yo antes he tenido problemas hacer mis tareas y ahora no. No, oh, mira, eso está bien. Busqué cómo hacer un volcán y cómo propagar, propagarlo. bootstraps that people are supposed to pull themselves up by are in today's day and age digital. There is no way to achieve that American dream without being connected to the internet. And that's what everyone on seeks to provide as we do this work. <laughs>